Hey, it's Eric Reed with Midwest Professional Reps here. Today we're gonna program the uh, Cook Shack SM160 to throw some chicken thighs in it. Uh, nothing crazy, just a quick video to walk you through setting up the controller. So this is the same IQ5 controller that Cook Shack uses in pretty much all of their commercial models. Um, you've got a USB port here so that you can export cook data. This is where you'll input a optional, optional meat probe and then your master on off switch so when you first turn it on you'll flip the switch it has to run through a little bit thinking to kick itself up there we go and from here you can choose to cook by probe if you have a probe so right now it's set for timer you can push it down to probe if you want to we're going to go with timer hit your smoke time i have it set for 15 minutes we can go up we can go down Really, for me, I'm doing chicken thighs. I don't need that much uh, oven smoke temp, so this is just for the smoke setting. It's set at 185. A lot of times this is so you can get a really low, gentle temperature to get a whole lot of smoke flavor in something at once. Hit OK. Now you can go to your cook time. I've got this one set for two hours. Once again, up, down, whatever you need. Hit OK. It's automatically gonna bring up your cook temperature. I've got this one set for 275 to try and uh, crisp up the skin just a little bit. Uh, if you run too low on chicken, too low of a temperature on chicken, you can end up with some uh, funky rubbery skin. That's in any smoker. That's just cooking chicken skin at a low temp. Hit OK. Your last setting is hold. So it, this one right now is set at 150. That's where I'm going to leave it. Uh, that is so that once it's done running through your whole timed settings, It'll drop directly into a hold temp uh, until you make it over to unload the cabinet. Now, if you have it set for probe, for a probed temperature, once it hits that probe temperature, it will automatically kick it over to hold from cook setting. If it's in smoke setting, it won't do it. So make sure if you're cooking like whole chickens, you don't set a smoke timer for or a smoke yeah, smoke timer for, I don't know, three hours, four hours, whatever. Go a little lower um, so you don't run the risk of hitting that internal temperature while you're in your smoke setting. And that's pretty much it. From here, we're going to hit start. And there it goes. It's going to show us what our current oven tip is, how much time is remaining on the program that it's in, uh, and that it's running in a timer mode rather than a probe mode. So, if you have any other questions, need anything else, I'm going to get this guy loaded up with some chicken, and uh, have a great day.